What's up guys, it's Tommy here and welcome to a brand new Liverpool Transfer News video where we will talk about the latest report on Alexis McAllister and Mason Mount potentially joining Liverpool and now Alexis McAllister is very likely, almost certain, to join Liverpool in June after the season is finished. Uh, Fabrizio Mano said that Liverpool want to resolve and working on the final details of Alexis McAllister's transfer deal as soon as possible to avoid competition because other clubs like Arsenal, Man United, Chelsea, Tottenham, Man City are sniffing around Alexis McAllister. But the full agreement on personal terms is really, really close. So almost uh, like Liverpool are in the final stretch, the final uh, straight of the negotiations and we are only ironing out the smaller details in the contract, which are bonuses, add-ons and, uh, you know, the terms of the deal. And uh, the plan is to leave Brighton early in the transfer window for Alexis McAllister and Fabrizio Mano has been told the move could be done and sealed in June. The season finishes on May the 28th for Brighton. Brighton still have two games to play. And uh, Di Marzio, who is also a very reliable journalist, he said that, uh, that Brighton will lose Le McAllister because he thinks he will join Liverpool. And yes, Brighton got Milner, they got Dahoud, but Caicedo is a different player and really, really important and uh, Di Marzio said that if Arsenal or other clubs bid less than 80 million euros, Caicedo will stay at Brighton. And so Caicedo would cost around uh, like 90 million euros, which is like 78, 80 million pounds. But if Arsenal will bid, uh, you know, more than uh, 75, 80 million pounds for Caicedo, then Caicedo could join Arsenal. And Declan Rice are, is also on the radar of Arsenal according to Di Marzio but basically the Brighton uh, like uh, chief executive or president I'm not sure what exa his exact role is he gave an interview recently on a talk sport where he was specifically asked about McAllister and about McAllister potentially joining Liverpool and the Brighton president said that uh, he's resigned to the fact that Brighton will lose McAllister. He didn't confirm that he's going to Liverpool because he can't, the agreement is not finalized, it's not official that. But he also didn't deny the fact that McAllister will leave Brighton in the summer. And he already said that Brighton are working on getting replacements, uh, evidenced by, you know, Brighton signing Dahoud, who is a free agent coming from Dortmund, Brighton signing James Milner, who is a free agent coming from Liverpool. Those are two very experienced players and I think that will help because Brighton already have uh, a lot of uh, youngsters like Enciso, Mitoma, Buanonote and others that they signed and they are developing and growing but you need experience alongside the young players. Uh, look at Southampton, they signed basically just young players or players with no Premier League experience, no former Premier League experience and they got relegated straight away even though Southampton spent the most amount of money out of any of the previous 11 seasons that they have been in the Premier League. So that is a cautionary tale for Brighton as well. And McCarthy basically on his YouTube channel Fabrizio Mano said that personal terms between Alexis McAllister and Liverpool are 90% agreed and the club to club negotiations should not be an issue because McAllister has like a verbal agreement and a release clause agreed with Brighton and Liverpool already know what price it would take for them to sign McAllister and the price is not going to be a problem. We are just ironing out the final details of how many bonuses and what kind of bonuses Brighton want for Alexis McAllister. And Fabrizio Manu said this about uh, Alexis McAllister. I said there is a fixed amount in the contract for Alexis McAllister that is working like a release clause. Formally it is something they decided when McAllister signed a new contract last year. He can leave the club early in the window. This is why Liverpool want to be fast. The agreement 
on personal terms and is 90% done. So Alexis McAllister is really, really close to Liverpool. This clause is helpful on the club side. Liverpool need to complete these details and then we will be able to say the deal is completed. And I think Alexis McAllister signing him early, even before the transfer window officially opens, is a great start to the transfer window. But we need to keep going on the front foot and we need to keep players, signing players like Alexis McAllister. And there is a big update on Mason Mount as well. Fabrizio Mano said, speaking to some sources today, it is going to be very difficult for Chelsea to extend Mason Mount. It's really complicated because uh, Liverpool and Arsenal are very interested in Mason Mount and basically he has uh, already rejected the free contracts that Chelsea offered him and he's still not playing regularly for Chelsea. Of course, he is now injured, but even when he was fit, he has been a bit part player this season. And that is a quite big shock because Mason Mount was Chelsea's best player the previous two seasons he has been voted player of the season so for him to go to the best player at Chelsea to not even starting regularly has been a big big drop off and Mason Mount is very upset at that and he also is also very upset at uh, when uh, Chelsea heard that they they can't extend the contract of Mason Mount basically Chelsea gave an ultimatum to Mason Mount if you are not signing a new contract, you will be sold, you will be put on the transfer market. And Mason Mount has still one year left on his contract, so that pretty much upset him, I think, a lot. And yesterday evening, uh, some Liverpool fans got worried when a journalist in England has said that Man City have entered the race to sign Alexis McAllister. The Mirror's David McDonnell were among those was among those to report uh, that uh, Man City are interested, they are potentially losing Ilkay Gundogan and some other players, but today Fabrizio Mano said that Man City are not in the race for Alexis McAllister and there are no talks or contract, uh, contra concrete contracts presented from Man City's side to Alexis McAllister Man City are not in the race to sign him. Liverpool are close to full agreement on personal terms with McAllister and they are waiting on the final details. There is a fixed amount to close into his Brighton contract. And McAllister's father, Carlos McAllister, is basically acting as his agent and he has been in negotiations with Liverpool since April, according to multiple sources. So the various reports that Man City are ready to hijack Liverpool's move for Alexis McAllister, you can rubbish those because Fabrizio Mano pretty much confirmed Man City are not interested in Alexis McAllister. And also very interesting development that Liverpool are believed to be among many Premier League clubs who have been in attendance to scout players in the Bayern Munich Leipzig match which was basically potentially a Bundesliga title decider if Dortmund win their last game of the season at home against Mainz and that would be a huge shock if Dortmund didn't win that because they have been on fire recently scoring so many goals and Leipzig came from 1-0 down away in Munich in the Allianz Stadium and won 3-1 potentially handing the title initiative to Dortmund and Dani Olmo and Dominik Soboslai, my fellow Hungarian countryman, the best Hungarian player right now and probably the best Hungarian player for the past 15-20 years. Liverpool are watching him apparently and uh, we, we are in competition with Arsenal and Newcastle to sign him. I will probably dig deeper on this story later this week on see, to see how interested Liverpool are in Dominic Soboslay, but that would be an absolute dream transfer for me because Dominic Soboslay scores goals, gets assists, he's a classic attacking midfielder who can play on the wing as a number 8, as a number 10. Defensively he's not great, but he's a very hard working player. But he's a, really a, a flair player. I think that he would be perfect for Liverpool in that attacking midfield role, but not as a as a box-to-box -box center midfielder because I think these defensive qualities are not certainly great, but offensively he's brilliant. He's like a luxury player to have and if you can give him free reign that then he can score a lot of goals and get a lot of assists. He also takes great free kicks, he's great uh, from long range, his long range shooting 
sometimes reminded me of Steven Gerrard and I'm not even exaggerating. Look up Dominic Sobosla's best goals, he has scored so many brilliant long range goals but of course I'm a little bit biased because I've been watching him for the Hungary national team in the Puskas Arena in my home city. And Fabrizio Romano recently said this about uh, Liverpool's interest in Bayern Munich's Ryan Gravenbeck. They like Gravenbeck Liverpool but he's a really important player for Bayern. It sounds strange because he only started one Bundesliga game this season and the player wasn't happy with the situation. There will be a meeting at the end of the season between Gravenbeck, his agents and Bayern Munich, including Thomas Tuchel, to discuss the future and from what I understand, Bayern have the intention to continue with Gravenbeck next season. Gravenbeck would be a great signing for Liverpool, but it's not certain yet whether Bayern Munich would want to sell him or not. I think they will sit down, decide that after the season has finished, Bayern Munich and the board and of course the manager Thomas Tuchel. But if Liverpool could have a chance to sign him for 30, 35 million, that would be a brilliant deal in my opinion. And thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Have a lovely day, see you later, goodbye.